Previously on the Owl House, after Luz was shaken by finding out she was a pawn in Emperor Bellos' plans, Luz needed a win, and after finding the supposed letter by King's dad, they went to go and find King's people, only for them to come across Titan Slayer, under the command of the none other than the Collector. We found out that our own king is a baby titan, but thanks to the titan hunter's ritual, king has been marked by the collector. What does that mean? And are those footsteps outside of the owl house? What will become of Ida and Lilith? Let's find out. Oh, what the hell? What is this? The Titan. Oh, okay. Partner. Meet Titan or Veggie King. Who's his partner? Oh, no. Pretend to be his friend. Really? Aww. Oh, how dare you hurt Gus's feelings? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? What is that? Willow. Wait, what is going on? Is he seeing? Wait a minute. This is from before. Before Luz. I didn't realize it at first. Willow in the abomination track. Gus having trouble making friends. Huh. So he, his anxiety, his fears and stuff, he would almost manifest them. Weird. Okay, a Willow and Gus episode. With how heavy things have been lately? Why not? Matholomew? Oh, Labyrinth Runners. Wait, multi track. Oh, I didn't even notice it at first. Okay, yeah. It's interesting to see Bellas really being cool with this. Oh, what's going on? Last messages. Oh, okay. Learned a lot of bad stuff. Day of Unity. Don't scare him away. Owl House. Crawling with Coven Scouts. So this is, like, I guess happen happening parallel to whatever. When Luz and King went off to go and find King's people? Interesting, okay. Huh, okay, so the relationship between Willow and Amity is still not completely copacetic. I think that's for the best, though. They, that, the whole plotline of their friendships hasn't been completely resolved just yet, so, okay. What the hell? Oh, Pancake! Oh, Flapjack. Is Hunter hiding out in Hexside? Actually, this would probably be the only other place he'd think to go. He doesn't really have many other places. He's living here. Ah, oh, jeez. So he's just been hiding out here. Hexide is big enough that somebody could pretty much live there for a while with nobody noticing. Yeah, it's like, you need actual food, dude. Good looking out, Gus. Oh, no. Is this the leader of the illusion track? Adrian Gay? Okay. The illusion- Head Witch of the Illusion is coming. Okay, so. There it is. Putting an end to the whole multi-track thing. Every student will be forced into a coven. <laughs> That's all of you. Wait, Gray is here to help. Temporary sigils. This is a trick. This is a trap. This is totally a trap. And Gus sees it. Oh! Yo! Oh, it's a trap! Jesus! Oh, jeez! Wow, damn. So they're not even going with the delicate touch at all. They are directly going to just like, you're joining Covens whether you want to or not. Like right here, right now. No if, ands, or buts. Like, damn. Oh, what? Okay, that's mean. Putting him in the abomination coven just to make sure he can't use his skills. That's fucked. Whoa. What? Huh. Hey, Hunter. Has he always been able to do that? Oh, how the hell? The whole school was covered in a giant illusion. What? The, oh, it's still in a giant illusion. Man, is this simply because Gus has gotten stronger? <laughs> He's actually impressed. <laughs> I hate this asshole. Uh oh, nice. Luck, uh, lucky shot. <laughs> Damn it. -y. It, it, it sucks too, because she's the comment she's making, she probably thinks it's kindness and all that, but it's just like she really doesn't know how capable Willow has become. <laughs> Even this guy's just like, don't listen to her. You totally got me. Like, I, I, I'm totally trapped. That was pretty impressive. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, Odin for the food. Oh, real steps. Uh, Hunter, you really need to explain your situation. Uh oh. Nice! Oh no! Ah, crap. Okay, so, Bellos has been looking for Hunter, but he hasn't ordered him to be captured? 
He still has his position as the Golden Guard? Interesting. Oh, hey! He used the glyph! Nice! Aw, uh, he's having a panic attack. Oh, he's teaching him the same thing Willow taught. Gus is teaching Hunter the same thing Willow taught Gus. How to deal with a panic attack. Yeah. Oh, God. There are plenty of times I had to do that breathing exercise to just calm myself down. Hunter, you gotta tell somebody. Come on. Don't be Mr. Grumpy Pants. Mm. Yeah. I, I like that. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Gus and Hunter started off in the worst place. And it seems like almost everyone has had a, like a bonding moment with Hunter up until this point, except for Gus. I didn't think it would... Go to Gus, I thought the whole grudgy thing was going to be their bonding moment, but this, this is kind of sweet, you know? Gus kind of understanding what it's like to have trouble confiding in other people. Come on, Hunter. Oh, nice. Ah, <sighs> Amity, I get what you're trying to do. You're just trying to be supportive and helpful and, you know, show Willow how much, you know, Amity really feels like Willow means to her, but... I'm getting in your own way, kid. Nice. Nice. Uh-oh, she's injured. Yeah, no. <laughs> I guess this. Huh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Gus, you should know. Willow doesn't call you by your full name. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm just like, come on, man. You know, you should know her by now. She's not afraid of me. She would never be afraid of me. <laughs> I guess it's just like, wait a second. Oh my god. <laughs> this poor person. Oh, okay, now. Yeah, it was an illusion. He's messing with Hunter. Dang. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh, technically he's still our superior. What are we supposed to do here? Ooh. <laughs> just put him out of his misery? Got it. To sleep. Dude, sleep. God. Not cool. Roofied. Oh, watch it. Uh, have they all been locked up? No. This is an illusion. Healing homeroom. Huh. He's not to be trusted. There you go. Willow coming through. There you go. Support each other. What's going on, Gus? Uh, he hates that he's been tricked. Huh. Okay. I'm glad that we're actually getting a callback to the Looking Glass Graveyard. With the Galder Stones and all that. And of course, Gus isn't gonna give the place up. Magic amplifier. Oh, he's gonna look through Gus's mind. It hurts. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. Man. I mean, yeah, Gus always had potential, but I didn't think he was this powerful. But like, this is still my house. What you gonna do? Oh! Oh, he's ready to throw down! Yes! Fight! 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 Nice! <laughs> nice! Potions ahoy! Nice one, Matholomew! <laughs> ah, this is so cool! <laughs> nice! Aww! You really- that's adorable. In the name of the moon, we will punish you. Oh. Oh, he's forcing them to see illusions. Oh, memories, huh? Gus is caught in his own head. Oh, an abomaton. <laughs> like, oh man, this is kinda cool. Oh, nice. Go help Gus. It's your time to shine, Hunter. Oh, uh, in order to help Gus, he has to overcome his own fear. Uh, he still remembers this. You know, this is really making me realize that we've never really just explored everything Gus has been through. And just the realization of how much a lot of this stuff has really just been weighing on him. Yeah, that, that really does suck. To feel like, oh, people treat you like you're supposed to be so smart. But being intelligent does not equate to having a sense for certain things, you know? But he's taking it so hard on himself. He's seeing that just because he wants to have faith in people, it makes him come off like a fool, but that's not wrong to want to believe in others. How's Hunter supposed to get through to him? Hunter still wants to believe in the lie. <laughs> how did the breathing thing go? And that's how Hunter and Gus became true friends. Ooh, magic amplifier. Ah, nice. Gus got a nice little helpful tool. Aw, they beat it up off screen? I would have loved to have seen that. Oh well, fuck you do. Yeah, group hug. You're a part of this. Yeah, like, technically, Hexide is now a 
treasonous school. Like, going against the Emperor like this? Like, I don't know, wow, I'm, I'm kind of surprised this all went down like this, but then again, forcing kids against their will? Like, ugh. Like, this was Bellows playing his hand the hardest he's ever played it. I don't know, something about this doesn't feel like it was smart. On Bellos' side, oh, will they report back to Bellos that they were defeated by children? That's an interesting situation. <laughs> Quit. Nice. I can't blame her for that one. Oh, is he? Is that Coven Head dude still caught in the illusion? The people crave the truth. Oh, Hunter. <laughs> Have you ever sneezed in your helmet? Yes. Gross. Ah, shit. Actually, I didn't even consider this. With Hunter, with people knowing that Hunter is the Golden Guard, him saying that Velos is lying to everyone carries far more weight. This is what Luz needed. I, I hadn't considered it because I was more concerned with Hunter's, you know, mental well-being. I never considered, hey, if the Golden Guard says, Velos is full of shit. I mean, more people are bound to believe him, especially people who trust in Gus, Willow, Amity, Luz, all that good stuff. It carries a lot more weight. It is the grounds for Le Rebellion. The day of unity isn't about the Titan magic. <laughs> like, there's a lot to explain. Get started, kid. I want to know what's going on. Ah, damn. I never even suspected this was going to go in that direction. But if anyone was going to rebel with all the developments at X side and the fact that, you know, the principal bump has been giving the students more choice, it feels so obvious to me now. It's just that we haven't really been exploring the whole situation of X side and the freedom of choice for the students as much more recently we've been a lot more laser focused on uh, the direction with Luz and her situation we really have not focused too much on just how that would end up being an adverse situation and because I, I just didn't expect Bellows to like play his hand like this because of course there would be a rebellion trying to trick students so easily I don't know if that says how little Bellows actually thinks of the kids. Like, he, I mean, it would have worked if it wasn't for Gus. It easily would have worked. The kids would have been tricked. Bump would have been tricked. You know, I will say, I would have liked the whole Willow and Amity situation to be a little bit more at the forefront. Or have gotten its own episode. Because I love the whole Gus and Hunter having a full moment of bonding, you know? This way, everyone has had their moment with Hunter, and they've gotten to a point where they can fully trust him. You know, the episodes where everyone having their day out with Hunter has really gone a long way towards making it so that a good amount of them would believe in Hunter, would want to help Hunter. And Luz's text, did she know that Hunter would go to Hexide? Did she just assume that would be the only place he would go? Like, what was it, take care of him? Be kind to him? Be gentle with him? Though I also gotta say, having an episode with no Luz, is this the first time this has happened? No, no, it can't be. It's just weird to have a whole episode that didn't revolve around Luz in any way, shape, or form. It still affects her as a whole. I don't know. And with what Willow said, that when she got there, the Owl House was still surrounded. So the Emperor's Coven haven't moved in on the Owl House just yet. I wonder what they're waiting for. Or has... Ida and Lilith been fighting back this entire time? A lot of questions. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you think about Gus and the way his powers would rage out of control? I wish we would have had a little bit more moments with stuff like that. Because that's an interesting concept with Gus. But maybe it's something that he's had fairly under control and it's kind of been like, oh, it's been building up until now. I mean, that's a workaround for it. How did you feel about Gus and Hunter bonding? Do you feel like that was important? Or 
Do you feel like that wasn't really needed? What about the Amity and Willow situation? Do you agree that maybe, do you wish that it had its own focus in its own episode? Or do you feel like it was fine here? That it didn't need to be a focal point because it was kind of a foregone conclusion that Amity would eventually see the new Willow, basically. And how do you feel about the idea of Hexide being like the first major resistance for him to go up against Bellows. Did you see it coming, or did you not think it would go down like that? Let me know your thoughts and more in the comment section below. And hey, so you don't miss out on the next episode, subscribe. Or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. Until next time, I have been News Thin, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye